Okay. Two, one. 안녕하세요. 저는 류입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 리안입니다. And Chico. 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 Chico is going to watch, well, maybe watch a band with us. He's already trying to escape. I'm not sure he's going to stick it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to watch One OK Rock, which is a Japanese rock band who have been around for a long time but got back together recently and have started doing tours now, originally it's... i think they were a four piece band i think so and then they they ditched a member and now there's only three or they were a five piece and now they're only four i actually can't remember we should have checked <laughs> we should have checked yeah we don't know much about them we have never nope. heard their music we just look like we basically saw a teeny clip of something on tiktok and we were like who is this yeah and then we kind of just wikipedia them so we don't know much we don't. We're the kind of people that if we hear the clip of a song and it's like, oh, what was that? We'll go and immediately find it. And that's what yeah. happened with them. So okay. we're going to watch One OK Rock singing their song Renegades, which apparently must be the one we caught a clip of because this video is only 11 days old. Yes. Okay. I'm excited. You ready? I'm excited okay. too. That I always clip, love discovering new artists. The clip I've heard of that song, I feel like this is potential to be my new favorite song. Right, you ready? Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Why is there no sound? I think it just starts like that. Wow. Okay. Is it English or Italian? There's no subtitles at all. Oh, I love that start. Gotta fire my soul. It's in English. I rest my face in this broken system. Go for my home. If you cry, is there anyone listening? What if we got a generation? I can already tell you, and it listened into 10 seconds of this dude's voice, and we're saying, you have competition. <laughs> Yeah, I got the chills, just straight up chills straight away. The whole the stage set up and the, it's just very epic so far. And I can already feel like I'm going to love this band. I can feel Me it too. in my bones. Sorry, we sound. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> and sugar, I've have you never been sugar? Yeah, but sugar's <laughs> different genre of music. I feel like this encroaches more in the Roses territory. So That's true. I'm sorry, we song. I never ever said I was loyal, okay? <laughs> but it is. <laughs> we want an open conversation. Follow me on this road. No, we gotta let go. All of the times that they say it's impossible. They build a herd as the wars and the obstacles. While we together, you know, we're unstoppable now. I'm not afraid to tear it down and bend it up again. Damn. See, I knew I was going to love this band. As soon as oh I met, I was like, whoa. Wow. Oh, I just found my new favorite band. Yo, this is, that, is powerful stuff. For being a Japanese band, it's an actual bonus that they sing in English. Like, as much as I love listening to, like, Japanese, like, Korean in their own native tongue, something hits different when you can understand it from the straight go. Yeah, yeah. Like it, is, it. it depends on my mood of what I want to listen to as well. Like sometimes I just want easy listening, know the lyrics, listen to an English song. Other times I really like because you can sing along with English. Yeah, which is that's what I, I feel like. If it's the kind of song that I desperately want to sing along with, it's a bonus if it's in English. But then yeah. there are some songs that I just love to listen to that I don't care about singing along to, and they're in Korean or whatever. Mm. But this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes for me, Korean songs hit harder, but this really, this has to be, this is really good. I love that this. That just gave me the whole, ah! Oh! Oh, this is a whole anthem. 
Mm-hmm. They've been holding us down. They've been telling us to change our voices. We don't fall of the crowd. We met our pay and we make our own choices. We may be underestimated. His voice is giving me chills. Like, the only other person that's ever made me like that we on our song is Wu Song. He's got a beautiful voice. A beautiful voice. I'm liking their whole style. Jin, Jin gives They're... me the chills. Jin's voice gives me the chills like this. But oh, this I'm very hard me. to please. Not just anyone can give me the. They have Excuse to have me. something. Jin ain't just anyone. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like there are lots of good singers that I love with amazing voices. Like I love Sugar's yeah. voice, but Sugar's voice gives me a different kind of feel. This gives yeah. me the chills, as does Wu Song's yeah. voice. Yeah. It's beautiful because they have that like powerful voice. And it's something unique in there as well that you just don't hear that often. Yeah. I, I, like I this reminds me of this reminds me of Jared Leto's band. Oh yes. Yeah. It has that same like grittiness and soaring powerful vocal kind of energy. These feel a bit more harder rock than the rose. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I know one day we will make it. It's time to say it out loud. We are young and we're proud. We come out with no regards and no light at all. We so above, no above, no need to go down. We gotta fight for the rights and the things we love now. You can totally tell they're a long-term established band that have played together for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. The, the stage presence, the performance and that, that is people who this is like something they can do in their sleep. Mm. I am loving these dudes. We're just going to have to t- to learn who these dudes are. <laughs> I have no clue who they are. They're really good. I don't good. know the guy's name or nothing. I'm just like, that guy. <laughs> and do know they have a big fandom. But I don't know. Well, anything they clearly about do them. look at that stadium. That's a packed out stadium. And those this yeah. is eleven days old this video and they already know this song, which is a new release. So you, they clearly have an established fandom. Yeah. Apparently when I did read very like briefly skimmed it that way back when they were like their original debut, blah blah blah, they had a massive following. They even did tours, did Korea and everything. They did like the oh. USA and stuff. But then they went on that, I don't know how many years it's been, like seven or eight years hiatus, maybe even as many as ten. Wow. And they made this comeback. So their fandom clearly never forgot them because no. they don't even look that old. I heard they've got quite a big following in Korea as well, which is interesting. So yeah. they've got like, yeah. I am approving they of all the tattoos. Old. I am a tattoo <laughs> girl at heart. Right, here we go. <laughs> This is obviously rock, hard rock. It has a very end of day days anthemy feel to it. Like it, it would go well in like uh, one of these futuristic, like dystopian, movies, dystopian yeah. movies. It's re- it's something that like it's just got a really nice like it's it's still twenty twenty three, but it's got that like dystopian feel from a few years ago as well. With, it's very. Like, Hunger Games it, feel to it. It does. It's very epic anthem. And I was sitting here feeling like this song could inspire a story. Like it, it feels like it's that kind of song. Yeah, it could. It's like I can just picture a whole bunch of renegades in the Hunger Games dystopian type feel to the song. So it gives you like the visual of mountains and mist and 
landscape and seeing into the far distance that's what it's, it actually reminds yeah. me of and my dad used to really like even though they don't actually sing anything like this i don't yeah. know if you've heard of run rig they're really big in scotland like they're epic Scottish, most played song in the whole of scotland is a run rig song they do a song called uh lock lomond which at points very has this vibe this oh. energy and yeah, then, I think I've seen that. Even the performance, this the fogginess in the stage set up the stadium, it reminds me of Run Rig. It does. It, it, also, it also it could fit well in an anime because it's like got that anime feel to it as well. It's just oh, like they are Japanese, so <laughs> they are Japanese, yeah. But you can feel that energy because I've seen this type of music in animes. It pulls yeah. through. Like it's really good. I love that. It also has like a bit of that. 90s 80s highlander feel like there can be only one i think I yeah it, it does that nostalgia from the rock bands that we used to love because yeah. i know we've liked a lot of the same rock bands growing up and especially in our teens and 20s when we were epic massive bon jovi brian adams guns and roses all that kind of stuff exactly. that gives me that nostalgia from those kind of bands that just you just there's not that many of them anymore Exactly. It reminds me of that Highlander song, Who Wants to Live Forever? Blah, blah, there can blah, only yeah, be exactly. one. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> and only one of us can say it properly. There can only be one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can we steal my Scottish thunder, right? <laughs> <laughs> or say like Sean Connery, there can only be one. <laughs> okay, so now we know what we're going to introduce into your Scottish I've met rap. Sean Connery, just saying. <laughs> You've got to put that into a Lena Lou rap, there can only be one. <laughs> you know, when I met him, he actually stopped to ask for directions in a place that I was like sitting outside. And he rolled down the window and he was asking us for directions. And I was only a teenager at the time, and so was my, my best friend. And we were very cheeky teenagers, and we knew straight away who he was. And, you know, the polite thing to do when a very famous Scottish person asks you for directions is to give them directions, right? Our very childish 15-year-old remark was, Ah, oh, much money, Penny. Are you lost? <laughs> that was our response. And he thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, but we didn't actually give him proper directions. We just made a lot of puns and a lot of references to many things we'd seen him in. <laughs> Poor oh. Sean Connery. I can't believe you met him. That's funny. Yeah, well, the first thing I ever said to him was, Ah, oh, Miss Money Penny, are you lost? <laughs> At least you made Sean Connery laugh. Oh, Not many people yeah. can say they've done that. So. <laughs> but we also didn't give him good directions because we didn't actually know where the place was that he was looking for. So we lied and we're like, Ah, oh, just go down uh, five minutes that turn left. The, I think there's a red <laughs> and then uh, there's signs. This, follow the signs. <laughs> no idea what he was talking about. You make me laugh. Oh, I met Robert Carlyle too. Oh wow, that's cool. I've met a lot of celebrities, but like I met not Scottish, Scottish ones. Celebrities. I don't Scotland's think I've met Scottish, Scottish ones, but I met a lot of other ones. So oh. okay. Okay, let's get back to that. <laughs> that had nothing to do with anything, but here we go. Got to the <laughs> True. <laughs> Deep breath, scoot your eyes and get ready. Take a deep breath, scoot your eyes and get ready. Take a deep breath, scoot your eyes and get ready to fly. Don't let her run to tear it down and burn it up again. It's not her face. We could be the run again. I'm here for you. I'm guessing instead of light sticks, the wrist light things are their jam. That must be it. Yeah, the red ones. That must be yeah. his color. This is very 30 seconds to Mars, Jared Leto. -y. 
it when is. you do when he hits those high notes i'm like oh my gosh i was the 30 seconds to mars freaking stand for many years jared leto himself mm, mm, what's but I like his music. Look in the back of the stage it's very um harry potter meets wednesday Churchy. adams yeah it's you, i don't really know if you've cool. seen the new adams wednesday adams series where the bedroom that she stays in pretty much has a similar window to that except it's a big like circular window rather than tall but it's very harry potter in the background what even is yeah. that it kind of fits with your dystopian like feel of the song yeah it's really cool i love it <laughs> Even his glove is just broken. Wow, it's a big stadium. How do you talk? That was in Japan. <laughs> So it was a stadium in Japan. So they could have a very huge Japanese following. Yeah. That I is. Like. I, wonder I if, love that. I wonder if all their songs are in English or if they do a mix. That would be interesting to look up. I don't know, but that is going on a la 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 like oh, list for sure. sure. And, uh, it was three members there, so they must have originally been four. Because four, it was like three. Stage. I did read that there was originally four and one of them had a scandal way back in the day and now there's only three of them. So I don't know if it's related to that or if he just didn't want to rejoin the band, but there's now only three of them. It must be hard to get through something like that and then still be a cohesive band after that. Can you yeah. imagine if like one of the members of BTS had to leave? I would. It would be devastating. So. I don't know. I think it depends on the dynamic of the band. You never gonna know what goes on when you like you don't That's see true. the full story. Some bands just don't get on. I've known plenty yeah. of up because my uncle and that's in the music business. I've been around a lot of bands and the amount of bands he was in that just didn't last the distance because of mm. one person. Like, you just never know. But That's true. They were epic and they are definitely not just that song. I feel like I want to go and watch more of their music now. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. What do you guys well, yeah. think? Did you like it? Does anybody like are you fans of them? How do you feel about them? Like yeah. how do you how do they fit into your like your discography and their collection of music? Because I feel like that's it's a really cool like I like see I like so many different genres of music and but like hard rock for me is always a, it always pulls me in. Mm -hmm. And they do it well. They do it really well. So that's I feel really like good. I have that. three directions. Whenever my most favorite music is either rock, pop, or rap, like R and B, yeah. hip hop, that kind of thing. Those are my three directions, and I'm equally like I'm not like a favorite of one. I love them all. Yeah, that definitely hits the place. <laughs> yeah, the rock place. Yeah. <laughs> The it's inner the rock rocky child to me. I was always a rock child when I was younger, but yeah, I like it. It does feel yeah. nostalgic, like a song that the kind of songs that we used to love and miss and not enough get yeah. made of nowadays. Yeah. It's very, yeah. I feel like so there's a band we, will, like, we will rock you. Yes. We will, we will exactly. rock you. Rock you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Never seen that version. Is it? Uh, <laughs> I, I did a version of Rock You. Oh, you rock your baby. Yeah, it was like, we will, we will rock you. Gotta rock you, baby. Oh, yeah. We will, we will, we will rock, rock, you. rock you. Yeah, that. Anyway, I've always, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a rock girl at heart. Like, listen, my entire fashion styling through my teens was rock chick. <laughs> yeah, I was very emo rock for a lot of times. I feel but like I my, hair, my hair never really got over the rock chick. <laughs> <laughs> my hair was just like, live your best life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll cling on to the past even if you don't. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I feel like that song is going on the Lola like list, and I feel like 
it is a band we should definitely react to more of their music because I'm hoping yeah. every one of their songs is as epic as that one. It was amazing. I'm going to be playing it when I have to go to my early morning safety meeting at 6 a.m. in the dark. It's going to be playing in my car. That will wake up and energize you song. That's a go on your battle paint and go to work song. (laughs) Get your ass up. And then afterwards, I will listen to Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. (laughs) Ginger. Uh, I swear to God, my playlist is becoming so eclectic since we've been doing this. Like, I always keep, was really good at keeping categories, but since we created the la 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 like list, it's also been leeching onto some of my like private lists, and they've become so like if I put on a playlist in the morning of this random <laughs> stuff we've been adding, it, it's like I've got bipolar or something. My mood. <laughs> One minute is dancing, next minute is rock, next minute is like tearful ballads. <laughs> like you can't tell from one to the next what the heck is going on in my head if you listen to that playlist. Like That's you can't so break funny. up. Wait, wait. <laughs> is she is she starting a new life? Wait, wait. Is she... <laughs> That's so funny. Well, thanks guys. That was fantastic. One okay rock we like. Um, and let us know if you want more reactions for them. If yeah. not, tough. Tough because we're probably going to react to more of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, we are. Truly. We truly are. Even if we get two views, our channel, we ain't about the views. We're yeah. just about the the us enjoying music. And, and the sharing the new music that we find with those of you that maybe have never heard of them. So if you have heard of them, let us know. If you haven't heard of them, tell them what you think. Do you love them as much as we just did? Because we hope Yay. so. Because guess what? You're going to be seeing more of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alrighty guys, thanks so much and bye. Bye.